Hey, what's up everyone? This is Rob with Blame Rob Videos, and today I'm going to go over basic navigation for your character in Guild Wars 2 during the open beta. So, to move, it's just your basic WASD keys, so W moves you forward, S moves you backward, A will make you look left, and D will make you look right. If you want to pan the camera, you can hold left click and turn, or hold right click and turn. If you want to zoom in, that's mouse wheel up. If you want to zoom out, that's mouse wheel down. If you want to bring up your menus, your menus are up here in the left hand side, upper left hand side. We're only going to go over the hero, the inventory, the contacts, and the mail menu. You can either click on these menus to bring them up, or you can click on the corresponding hotkey. So for example, hero is H, inventory is I, contacts is Y, and I don't think there's one for mail. But I'm pretty sure you can assign it later, and under the settings tab, under the game menu. You can go to options, and you can set your basic general options, your graphic options, your sound options, and your control options. Um, but back to the hero window. So to open up the hero window, you can hit H. In the hero window, you will see uh, on the first tab your equipment. So this is all of your gear. You'll also see your different your, blah, 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 your attributes over here on the right-hand side. Your skills and traits are in the next tab. So you have weapon skills and slot skills. The weapon skills are determined by what weapon you're using and what may also be in your offhand. There's different weapon skills for all the different uh, weapons that you can use, including two-handed weapons. The weapon skill system, or excuse me, the weapon, what I'll refer to as the weapon slot system, is, uh, it works like this. So you basically have uh, five slots, number one, two, three, four, and five. If you use a one-handed weapon, you basically fill up your one, two, and three slot, and then if you have an offhand weapon, it fills up your four and five. And so if you have a two-handed weapon, it fills up all of your slots. It fills up your one, two, three, four, and five. And then there are some classes and some weapons, or excuse me, there are some classes that allow you to dual wield um, a one-handed weapon. And what happens in that case is you'll fill up your one, two, and three slot for your weapon, your weapon slot, and then your second hand will be occupied by your three, four, and five. So you're using your three twice, which I think is fine. In your slot skills, you have uh, skills that are specific to your class. And so these skills, as they imply, are not dependent on your weapon. It's just whatever your class is, those, these are the skills you'll always have. Traits, I believe, are similar to talents. Uh, we need to unlock them at level 11, so I'll probably go over that in another video. Uh, the other tabs here under the hero menu are your story, your crafting tab, and your achievements tab. Your inventory menu will show you the things in your inventory, obviously. It has a backpack-like system, just like World of Warcraft. You have your starter pack with 20 slots, and then you have four more spaces for additional bag slots. So you'll buy bags and then put them into these empty bag slots, and then the slots will appear in your main inventory. The other nice thing about uh, this game is that the windows are movable, so you can move these windows around by clicking in the upper bar, and you can move the windows however you like, just like a regular Windows uh, window. The other window we're going to go over, or excuse me, the other menu we're going to go over is Contacts. So this is where you add friends. Uh, as you can see, I've already added a few. Uh, you can also look for a group using this uh, menu. Uh, I'm not sure what followers are, I apologize, I'll skip that. And then Blocked uh, are people that you want to block, like Blacklist. The mail uh, menu is useful because eventually when you start completing quests and talking to NPCs, you'll get mail, just like in World of Warcraft. And then you can also send mail and receive mail. Uh, pretty sure. So stuff. next let's go over the hotkeys and how to interact with NPCs and enemies, or how to attack enemies. Um, the hotkey system works just like most MMORPGs. You just click the corresponding hotkey and you'll start using it. To interact with NPCs, Please, you just walk right help. up to them, and usually you just hit F to talk, or I think you can right-click on them. Everybody get to and the you end. can, so can it looks you like you can right-click on them, or Everybody get push to the F end. to talk. We can protect you at the end. So I guess this guy wants me to go to the end, and if you look on your map, oh, so I guess I should go over the map. You can push M to open up your map, and then this green icon usually is where you need to go in order to complete your quest and it will show up on your... So in order to target NPCs and other things in the game, you can left-click on them, just like I'm doing now. But for enemies, you, you can left-click on them if you want, but you can also cycle through them using tab, just like in a lot of MMORPG, other MMORPGs. 
Now, to attack the uh, enemy, you need to be within range. So, the way you know you're within range is your hotkey, the number below your hotkey, will turn from red to white. So, I'm just going to walk up casually here. And now my uh, number has turned white, so I'm going to click to attack. And as you can see, I'm starting to do damage to this Tamini Archer. And this is my only skill, so that's all I'm going to be using right now. But the other thing I want you to notice is that I'm uh, starting to highlight my second skill, which is Dragon's Tooth. It says 60% unlock. So the more you use your weapon, the uh, more skills you'll unlock for that weapon. So that's it, guys. I hope you found this video helpful, and we'll see you next time.